He completely wrong-footed you, didn't he, the Prime Minister? Well, not really. I mean, what he did was make an announcement and then gut his own announcement within hours. The amendment that he's put forward to a motion today, I know it's a very techie parliamentary thing, but we've actually put forward a proposal which is concrete, real, timed and going to be voted on today. If the government really wants to ban these parliamentary strategy jobs for MPs, then they can do. They can vote with us today. Instead, what they've done is put forward an amendment to our motion which basically guts it. Now, that means that the Prime Minister, as per usual, he's not only got a backbench business uh, management problem, he's also talked a good talk and then wound down on his words within hours, which is, he's got form on, frankly. He does want, though, this is that he's conceded, you know, he's going to have this vote banning the idea of having MPs having second jobs as consultants. MPs across all parties, though, need to come together and look at themselves in the Labour Party, too, when it comes to sleaze. I think what's important is that it's the Labour Party who stepped up and challenged the Prime Minister to do better and be better. We actually pushed this to a vote in 2015, some years ago. So I'm afraid to say that the Prime Minister is coming very late to the party. The report from the Commissioner on Standards and Public Life, Committee on Standards and Public Life, in 2018, three years ago, recommended this. And we'd already proposed it before then. So yet the Prime Minister's playing catch-up. That's great. Every party needs to make sure that they're acting with the highest standards because that matters. Standards really matter. The public judge us on our values and rightly so. They want to know that we're being honest and open and accountable to them. Those are part of the seven principles of public life as set out by Lord Nolan. I believe in them. My staff believe in them. MPs across the House should value them and stop seeing them as a way to trip themselves up and something to be wiggled round as the unfortunately Tory party has done recently. Start seeing them as something that is, is actually special about our democracy and be proud of living up to them.